Hi Pisces, it is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of May 27th to June 2nd, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Pisces, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get one more shuffle. Let's see. Let's see energy of Pisces in regards to love for this week. So we have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse in your energy. We also have the Emperor and the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Magician to the Queen of Swords to the Star and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. Magician in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, Star, Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. So I definitely feel like someone wants to, um, Someone wants to have a new beginning with you and um, pick up where you two left off, repair their relationship with you, but they're very much in their ego. They're being very stubborn. Um, they're taking their time to apologize to you and to approach you. They're taking their time. I don't know why they're taking their time. So let me clarify that. Spirit, what can you tell me about um, the Emperor, please? The Ten of Cups. Interesting. This person looks at you like you're the one that they want to have a long-term committed relationship with. They also want to have a family with you and a home with you. I'm getting children also for some of you, very like specifically something about them wanting children or wanting to like, if you have children or they have children, there's something about them wanting to like become a family. Or just, you know, start a family is what I'm getting. Tell me about the, um, what is this? Magician in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse, Star. I want to know who this is. Tell me about the Queen of Swords, very please. Queen of Swords in reverse. So we have the Death card. We also have the King of Pentacles with the Hermit card. Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Magician in Reverse. Does mean anything? The Moon to the Ace of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles to the Ten of Swords. The Moon. For some of you, I definitely feel like this person tried to like um, entertain a new relationship or, you know, um, be open minded towards a new towards a new relationship or towards a different relationship. Um, however, they were unsuccessful. They weren't be able they weren't able to 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 be open minded towards it. It's just not what they it's just not what they were looking for. It's just not the type of person they wanted. 
And as much as they tried to be open-minded, they just couldn't do it. Especially because they had you in the back of their mind the whole time. Okay. I got that. What's the... Um, what is this Empress spirit, please? I'll have the Empress. The tower. Okay, so it definitely looks like there was some sort of big breakup, big separation between the two of you. Um, a lack of contact, a, love, a lack of communication is what I'm getting. Distance um, with the star card. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Cups. Tell me more about this Emperor. Ooh, Queen of Wands, yikes, and the Knight of Cups. And well, what do you know? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, like I said, they just had a hard time taking this other person seriously um, with the Seven of Swords showing up um, and the Knight of Cups. They definitely attempted to um, connect with another individual and establish some sort of relationship or connection with them. They just had a hard time taking them seriously. Um, and there's something about them not being their type. It just, they just weren't their type. They weren't attracted to the person. And also the way they're viewing this person is like someone who doesn't respect themselves is what I'm getting. Yeah, that's, that's their view of this other person. They don't respect themselves. They don't have dignity. They don't have self-worth. And I'm not interested in that. At least in regards to like, you know, having a long-term commitment with someone. They're not interested in that type of person. And again, they just weren't their type. So I feel like they're putting their focus on you now, uh, Pisces. And I feel like they're planning on woo wooing you. They're planning on it, but this person's like, they're taking their time though. They're being very strategic. They're being very calculative. Um, but I do feel like they're definitely planning on, on surprising you with the tower card and making an appearance and being very charming, being very charming, being very sweet with you. Okay. Let me go over to their side of the reading. Anything else about the Empress? Because I'm not getting much from you. Clarify the Empress, please. Three of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Well, Pisces, I didn't expect that. So Three of Pentacles to the Page of Swords. So for some of you, uh, not all of you, but for some of you, you've been also entertaining somebody else on the side. You know, you've been also uh, mingling or socializing or getting to know someone new, um, trying to also see if uh, a relationship could potentially be formed between you and this other person. That you are like recently or relatively recently, you know, communicating with and, and getting to know, maybe dating. Interesting, though, because I feel like you're doing the same thing as this person. So you two are mirroring each other. Um, because with the Page of Swords and the Four of Swords, even though you are mingling or socializing or dating here with, with a new person or, you know, a, a relatively new person or new connection, uh, you're thinking about this person that from your past. You're thinking about them. You're wondering about them. You're questioning whether whether they're doing the same thing, whether they're talking to someone new, whether they still care about you, whether they're, whether they're like even like interested in you anymore or whether they've moved on with their life. So you're not giving this new person your full attention and this person is not giving the new person their full attention either. 
All right, so both of you are in the same boat. Great. Let's move on to the other side of the reading with your person's energy for the week. Let's see. All right, here we go. I'm going to use a different deck. Spirit Angels and Guys, please show me the energy of the person Pisces is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. What is this person's energy towards Pisces, please, for this week? All right. Here we go. So looking at this person's energy towards you, we do have, well, the devil is showing up here. Okay. Could be a Capricorn. We also have the Two of Pentacles. And we also have, wow, the Fool at the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles and the World. Okay. Mm, okay. This person was hoping to provoke a reaction out of you by entertaining this other person. It's interesting because I feel like you might have been doing the same thing. For some of you, not all of you, I feel like some of you are entertaining a new person to see if this person would react. And I feel like they were doing the same thing. You two are, are operating in the same manner. I mean, you're showing up as the emperor and the empress, okay? Yes, this person is reverse or you, it doesn't matter who. But Empress and the Emperor, that's how you two are showing up. So you two are mimicking each other, copying each other. Um, it's almost like you two are trying to pretend that you don't care about each other, that you know, um, you're not bothered by them, they're not, they're not bothered by you. And it's all fake, apparently, from the looks of it. It all seems to be fake, especially with the devil card showing up. Um, I feel like you want this person to step up to the plate and to come towards you correctly and fix things with you and do things the right way. And they want you to like validate them and to give them your attention and to make them feel like you care about them. Both of you care about each other. It just kind of looks like... Um, there's some sort of underlying issue that's not being addressed. There's like an elephant in the room that's not being addressed. And it kind of look, it feels like you're ignoring them and they're ignoring you and it's just getting out of control. It's just getting out of control. It's, it's turning toxic, basically, with the devil card. It's turning toxic. Okay. Neither of you are being successful in, you know, replacing each other or like getting over each other. Yeah, neither of you are being successful at getting over each other. But both of you are trying with the Eight of Cups. Both of you are trying to get over each other. However, I do feel like this person is going to... Um, make a plan to, to return back to this relationship with you. Yeah, I feel like they're planning, you know, they're, they're brainstorming is what I'm, I'm getting from them. Okay, so Pisces, I'm going to stop the reading right here and I'm going to now continue in the extended reading. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you? What actions will they be taking towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.